Hey, what's up guys? This is Ricky from Noel Ammons and in this video, I'm gonna talk about my window. Uh, front windscreen uh, cracked and I think I might have done it. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I woke up and there was a crack on the window, but mainly on this video, I'm gonna talk about how to avoid it. So it could save you a lot of money to do what I just did. Let's hear it from somebody that owns this car for four years and what happened to him. Hello everyone, Zaid here, Ricky's friend, another i8 owner with a broken windshield. I'm saying another one because a lot of us have gone through this and if you own an i8 and, you, and your windshield didn't break, then it probably will. It's just one of those things. If you have an RX-8, you expect your engine to blow. If you have an i8, your windshield will probably break. Why? Because, I don't know, BMW don't even know. So, my story goes, I had the car, it was pretty new, so I only had about 15,000 kilometers, parked, garaged with a camera, so I know nobody came in and like broke it on purpose. Um, parked overnight, woke up in the morning, uh, was washing the car, and there was a small crack starting from the bottom of the screen to 25% of the screen. So from the bottom all the way to 25% of it, there's no signs of anything falling on it or anything causing the crack. Um, so uh, the car was still under warranty, but I know glass is not included in warranty. That was not my problem. But I took it to BMW to see why it cracked. Because like I said, when I parked the car the night before, the windshield was not broken. Um, slept, woke up, looked at the cameras. Nobody really got close to the car at all. And, you know, in the morning, the car had a crack on its screen, on the windshield. So I took it to BMW, to George Duffy. Um, they gave me an appointment for a specialist to have a look on it and took it to the specialist on the day. The specialist spent about an hour or two looking at it. Um, and he came back saying that there is no evidence of external factors that could have caused this. So Joe Duffy and their specialist said that there is no external factors that could have caused the windshield to crack. And I'm not an engineer, but I feel like when they say there's no external factors that caused it, then there must be an internal factor or something wrong with the actual design of the car that caused the windshield to crack for no reason. Because nothing got thrown at it, nothing caused it, I didn't drop anything on it, it just cracked. I woke up in the morning and it was cracked. Um, so because of that, Joe Duffy said that they're actually going to send a letter to BMW and see if they can fix it, even though it's not under the warranty. I understand it's not under the warranty myself, but they're saying because they can't see any factors, they're actually going to say that in their report and they're going to send it to BMW and BMW approves it. Uh, they'll fix it for free because there's no external factors that cause the issue. So the factors must be internal. Now, I also did a quick Google search and you can do it yourself and you'll see there's so many i8s that have a broken windshield because they literally looked at the window too hard or touched it with something small. And there's a lot of other cases like myself where the window literally cracked out of nowhere without any, you know, without any visible reasons. And that led a lot of people to speculate the windshield might be too thin, uh, there might be a structural fault in the design, nobody really knows, we still don't know. Anyway, back to my story, Joe Duffy agrees that there's no external factors, they write a report, we'll show you the report, they send it to BMW, and BMW goes back and says, yeah, but no, um, that's not a fault, we're not paying for it. Um, so this went on for a while, me basically trying to understand what happened, because I was at a stage where I was like, okay, I need to fix it, I will fix it anyway, I love the car, and did, don't get me wrong, I still love the car, I'm keeping it, and I kept it for a number of years. Um, so I was going to keep the car, I just didn't want to fix the windshield and then be scared of it cracking again for no reason. So I kept pushing and asking them, can you please at least tell me what's the reason, why did it break? Um, and they, they say, oh, we need it to, to get it inspected by one of our specialists. I was like, well, your specialist here in Ireland did inspect it. This is an approved BMW dealer. Uh, their service is an approved BMW service center. And um, they're saying that there's no external factors. But no, BMW Germany want their own specialist to say the same stuff. Obviously, I can't take the car to Germany. Um, and this went on until like I spoke to the head of the BMW service in Germany, blah, whatever, whatever it is. She spoke with me on the phone and she was literally going in the same loop. And I've had this in other other discussions with other things where basically the person in front of you basically read in the same loop because they know they're kind of protecting themselves legally and all that and she keeps saying well this is not included in the warranty i'm like okay fine it's not included in the warranty i'm not talking about the warranty why did the windshield crack for no reason and i still don't have an answer for that the windshield cracked for no reason we still have the report now 
we have to be fair with this. Joe Duffy were amazing. They were actually really good. They, uh, like I said, they inspected the car for free. They wrote the report that was honest. So they could have just said, oh no, we seen there is an, you know, evidence of whatever, but they were actually very honest with it. They were very transparent with the communication with BMW. The problem is actually with BMW Germany and they're known to be like really bad for customer service. BMW is known to be a really bad company when it comes to customer service, even in the States. So um, yeah. That was pretty much the end of the story. BMW refused to admit that it's a manufacturer fault. They refused to fix it, even though their specialist here saying that there is no external factors. Uh, Joe Duffy actually gave me a really good discount and they got a fix at the end. So I had to pay for it myself. But um, that's pretty much the story. Also, just another note. Uh, this, I think it'll be useful for other people. Um, so I took the car before I took it to Joe Duffy. I took it to Frankie because it's closer. It's handier to me. And... Um, the people at Frank Keen basically told me this windshield cannot be fixed in Ireland. Now, this is a while ago. Now everybody can fix it. This is a while ago where only Joe Duffy could fix it. But before going to them, I went to Frank Keen and Frank Keen said that uh, there's nobody in Ireland that can fix it. I have to take it to the UK to get it fixed. And uh, yeah, I took it to Joe Duffy and they're like, yeah, no problem. No, we can fix it. And I specifically asked Frank Keen, is there any other BMW dealer that can fix it? Can Frank Keen, can Joe Duffy fix it? And the guys are Frank Keen, no, 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 there's no way, blah, 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 I have to take it to the UK. So, um, yeah, I don't know, that wasn't great either. They should have at least told me, we don't know, why would you Why would you say you know when you don't know? But, um, yeah, that's the end of the story. Uh, windshields crack on the i8, probably a manufacturer fault because a lot of them are cracking still. BMW will not fix it, it's not included in your warranty, um, and they will not admit it's a fault because then they'll have to fix it for free for everybody. So yeah, if you get an i8, just make sure you get an insurance that fully covers the windshield so they can fix it for you for free because it probably will crack. Other than that, the car is amazing. So if you have one, I hope you enjoy it. If you don't and you're thinking about it, I highly recommend it. See you. I seen the crack in the morning and I was like, that's terrible. Uh, how did it happen? Did I do it? I'm not 100% sure. Did it rock? flew out the window while I was driving. I'm not 100% sure. Did it just crack on its own? I'm not 100% sure. Now, just talking about did it just crack on its own. There's a lot of BMW i8 owners that wake up the next morning and see a crack in their window. BMW i8 designed this windows really, really poorly. So is the interior. Um, the leather that's on it, it's really, really thin leather. Um, yeah, they've they basically try to make it environment friendly and lightweight saving on the window so the weight on this window is 50 percent less than other cars um, and that's terrible they use that on racing cars and when they use it on the racing cars they put a f uh, protection over it um, you can get it at any Windows tinting stores you can get it there I'm pretty sure um, you can ask them for a see-through protection uh, layer that goes on top of the window and BMW was was aware of that but they've only done it on the back window they figured they didn't do the front window which I find it really really poorly done stupid uh, if I can say that on YouTube but yes so it is, is it a manufacturing fault not really because they've said that they've said they've done that on the car before you bought it so you were meant to be aware of that i wasn't my best friend wasn't and i would say 80 percent of bmw i8 owners aren't aware of the windows on this is a race in windows um, and they're very thin and they crack super easy i met uh, a guy that replaces windows and i asked him why is it like that and he was like it's just to save weight and yes i can see why it's a carbon fiber body car and saving weight on this car to make it faster it adds a lot of i mean the way he drives is absolutely amazing there's no doubt about that um but i would say if you ask every bmw owner would you prefer your car to be a little bit thicker a little bit slower or have a thinner window not knowing about it that could crack down the line um i'd say well, me and my best friend will probably choose the thicker window because we don't want to wake up in the morning and seeing that. It could ruin your day. So the next thing that's going to happen is 
I'm getting the window replaced. So I rang my insurance. I said, oh, I cracked my window. And I think I got lucky because it's not what happened to my friends. And you'll find out in a minute. Um, and she's like, right, okay, yeah, cool, no problem. Uh, we'll call our window repair guys, our contractors. Um, if you're in Ireland, Aviva Insurance, that's who I'm with. I paid for fully comprehensive and a breakdown, uh, emergency breakdown. So I paid a lot of money for my insurance just to have all the protection that I could get. How do you avoid that happening to you as well? Um, well, first thing, if you live in a really, really hot country, don't wash your car with cold water. If it's like 40 degree out, it's not good for your window. That could happen too. Second thing, if you're living in a really, really cold country, um, like in Ireland, there's two things you can do to damage that car, to damage that window. First thing, switch on the heating while you're at home through your phone or through the key um, in the car while it's really cold outside and there's a lot of ice and snow, whatever, on top of your windshield. Avoid doing that because that could crack it also. Using boiling water is the second thing that could crack it also. So avoid doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's another video on the problems with the BMW IH. You can click right up there and watch that. There's a lot more content coming up. Um, yeah, I guess if you subscribe and hit the notification button, you'll stay up to date with what No Lemons have to offer. See you guys soon. So just driving in the motorway today. I needed to call this guys. And uh, I think that's three or four months ago I changed the front window. Um, and I think I might have to change it again.